Stevens to Butler. Then completely breaks. 31 seconds from start to finish. In total, eight vintage cars were ruined. Those cars were our babies, and it's, it's upsetting to have anything like this happen. All right, you guys, when you walk in, you have the Stingway grill. You can grab some food. Here's a little look at the menu right now. Appetizers, salads, burgers, sandwiches, and then the museum delivery. So here's where they're prepping some deliveries for some people. You have a lineup of vets on display. Corvette Museum, Library, and Archives. Really cool. That color is beautiful. 2024. A little grill over there with some quick eats and drinks. Corvette store. We'll go into that after the tour. But there's shirts, everything. Everything Corvette you could think of. These are pretty cool, some bricks people had bought. For Corvette clubs, some memories, all that stuff. Alright guys, in this video today, we're going to see the Corvette Museum that opened in 1994 and also check out the sinkhole event that happened in 2014. It was a tragedy, a lot of Corvettes were lost, damaged in the sinkhole. We're walking you through a full tour. Hope you enjoy. If you like this, please hit the like button and comment your favorite year Corvette. Nineteen fifty-three, the first vet. There she is, guys. There's Corvette number one. Seven, 350 horsepower, 18 miles per gallon in the city, 25. The original price was 48,000. That's gotta be one of my favorite colors. Very nice. And over here to the 1988 Corvette 35th anniversary. The original price was 35,000. Very nice. All right, welcome to the Motorama of 
guys if you're liking this stuff please consider subscribing make sure to like and comment your favorite year corvette we come back every day every week with car show content for you guys we like going to these museums and your support helps us kids little education area to check out teach them about the design what goes into the vehicle play molding one third scale chassis prototype it, has, it also has pictures of the assembly plant. You can visit both for, I believe it's 50 bucks for both, but we're not going to go. I've been there before. Can't record in there for you guys, but maybe one day they'll allow it, but usually they don't. Some die-cast models. Very cool. Definitely cool. Cool display case. I have to get something like this. Start collecting again. All right, we're gonna we go to the shop, guys. We got a '73 Corvette back there, convertible. This is a replica of the assembly line. So they're dropping the body onto the chassis. They call it marriage of the Corvette. Another 73 for you. Parts and Service Center. You got a 69 Corvette right here in the front with an L88. Then a 71 with the LS6. This is my favorite area, the race cars. You've seen our videos. We do a lot of events. We like going to races. This thing has a seven liter motor in it. It's in the 2001, 2002 Le Mans, three and four. 1954 EX, A7. This is where it all started. Walking through the history of 
a 57 we just passed. This is a 62. 63. 75. guys. 63 Corvette right here. Split window. Studio. If you get one, what year and what color? I'm thinking that tactical tent right there. Or the orange. Ooh. One of those two. That one or that one. I think would be my color. What do you guys think? What year, what model, and what color would be your pick on the back? Five horsepower 2019 C7 ZR1. Wow. Like the wing, I like that whole setup right there actually. Carbon fiber inlets or the brakes to cool off. Very nice. Alright, C8 interior. We'll cut away cockpit for you guys. We're in the driver's seat. There's a full scale play model. Very cool. Wheel document. Those are sweet. There's a one million Corvette 1992. This is one of them that was swallowed by the sinkhole. I don't know if I can zoom in that far, but I'll try. And the repairs were done January 2015. Transport registry. A lot of racing and heritage in today's vehicles, guys. Now we're going into the Corvette Cave. And this is where the sinkhole happened, February 12th, 2014. Look at that tragedy. Holy cow. Then so quickly breaks. 31 seconds from start to finish. In total, eight vintage cars were ruined. Those cars were our babies, and it's, it's upsetting to have anything like this happen. The fire department estimates that the hole is 40 feet wide and about 30 feet deep. As for the cars lying nose first in the dirt, the estimates of loss are much higher, especially for the 1 million Corvette that That's came the just assembly saw. line. My hunch was that the million Corvette is worth to someone who they at least a million dollars. Even if they managed to repair wow. these cars, they will never quite be the same as what they were. Corvette historian Jerry Burton says many of the cars were irreplaceable. Sydney Spider and a 2009 Blue Devil were on loan from General Motors. Simples are common in this part of Kentucky because there are long caves that run underground. 
but geologists don't know what caused this one to open up. The body Oh, you have a picture. This guy, though, won't open. Structural engineers that the rest of the museum is on the stable ground. Last manual transmission stingray ever. Two thousand nine zero one. Six hundred thirty horsepower LS9. Guess we're going backwards in the era, but there's an eighty nine zero one prototype. CTU error era. That's pretty cool. 57 airbox Corvette. There she is, guys. 53 Corvette. Tracy 003. That's cool. Look how small that frame is. That is wide. And you guys can see they got the history of all GM workers that were involved in something in the Corvette team. This right here, we got a 68 Astro that the Air Knight study. Oh, interesting. This is kind of a uh, yeah, here. 73 prototype. Great light. So much cool stuff. 76 great light Corvette. Stuff you don't see every day, guys. To the custom Charisma. Charisma. You can either go through the whole sky dome. So, this is going to be Carl Casper's creations. They switched this up a lot. So, he did stuff with DC, comic books, customizer, just like Rep Fink, and all that. There's a Cosmic Invader. Wow. Also did the Batmobile. We'll see that soon. All right, guys, we're in the area. Carl Casper created these designs. He did many stuff for, you know, Batman. He did DC, so we're about to check out the Batmobile in a second. But let's check out some of his creations. The Brangate Deuce. Look at that. 
but we haven't hit a bump. Okay, so we're Renegade Deuce. That's awesome. There's him right there. I've been watching a lot of guys on YouTube, like Ian Rosell and that. Oh man, the stuff they put in to the customizing of the vehicles, the time, the just the knowledge is crazy. These are some of the collectibles from him, artifacts and all that, stuff he's created. <laughs> the phone booth, that's cool. Here we had two names. Let's check it out. Oh, here we go. Sorry, I'm all over the place. So we have a night cruiser, turbo shark, popcorn wagon, islander, paddy wagon. 32 deuce, renegade deuce, ghost, fabulous phantom, galloping ghost 2, and empress. Alright guys, here's the bad boy deuce. I want to see the uh, phone booth push the head in here. The turbo shark. Look at that. Crazy. It's wild. Cosmic Invader again. Now we're going on to the Night Cruiser. Very sweet. You fit like eight people in my things. 51 Chevy. There it is, guys. The Batman Returns Batmobile. Now we're into the store area. And let me just tell you, anything Corvette you would want is going to be in here. I do like this. Price on this guy. 36 bucks. That's not bad. 62 for a nice jacket. time we were here was Rhett Fink was the ones in display so if you're interested in that video I will post it after this one so stay to the end to click the button so I need two bucks for that we got a nice leather jacket for 350 bucks I guess if I had a Corvette I might think about that but since I don't I don't need one. So 
that's cool. And that racing 65. What another amazing time at the Corvette Museum. If you've made it this far, please hit the like button, comment, subscribe. It helps me out. It grows the channel, helps me reach more people and go to places like this for you guys. Hope you enjoyed it. The event at the end, the little uh, Casper, Carl Casper event, only goes to the end of the year. So if you want to check that out in person, come here soon. But we're off to Holly to go check it out since we're in Bowling Green, Kentucky. And we'll see you guys next time. Check out a video on the left and the right hand side of the screen.